What's up, everybody? This is Peter again for Sports Hot Rumors and Debates. How are you guys today? Thank you for all your requested videos, guys. And listen, I will do the most top requested video, 100%. doesn't have to be about us Arizona Cardinal fans. It doesn't have to be about us Arizona Diamondback fans. Yes, I'm a diehard Arizona fan of, of baseball and football. However, I am a diehard sports fan. This is a sports channel. Whatever you guys request and whatever is requested the most, I will talk about. But... So far, I have a lot of Arizona fans on this too, and they love to talk about the Cardinals. I will do that when you guys request it, and I will mention other videos, of course. You know, I want you guys to understand. I want to build this channel as much as I can, and I appreciate it. We're up to 316 subscribers, so thank you. Here's the requested video, comparing the Arizona quarterbacks, right? So I took it a little bit different here. You had three really great quarterbacks for the Arizona Cardinals, and there really wasn't much else. I mean, Jake Plummer was a really good quarterback, but... It was pretty rough, right? Arizona has had some horrible history, and so has Larry Fitzgerald, of having quarterbacks throw him the ball. Kurt Warner was a great quarterback, right? He fit for us. It worked very well. That year with the, in the playoffs, nobody even has expected us to get into the playoffs. We did, and then we ran with it. It's all about getting into it. And Kurt Warner made the throws when he needed to make the throws. And the, the guy is a really good quarterback. What he was lacking, though, was speed. Carson Palmer. Same exact situation. Wasn't as good as Kurt Warner, but was a good quarterback. However, the man could not step up in the pocket for the life of him. If there was pressure, we were screwed. Period. And you will never win championships unless you have an amazing blocking for this quarterback. Because if you don't have blocking for your quarterback, and he's slow, not agile, and can't run out the pocket to get these little plays, you're not going to go anywhere. Period. I don't care what play, you're going to run into a team that's going to beat you. A team that knows how to play defense and you are going to be screwed at the end of the time. There's a reason the Seattle Seahawks did so well. Yeah, their defense was amazing, but Russell Wilson bailed them out so many times. So, Kurt Warner was the best quarterback of the Arizona Cardinals, right? Up into Kyler Murray. We don't know how Kyler's going to do. We understand that. Kyler played one year, showed a lot of glimpses of being amazing. But what Kyler has that Kurt and um, Carson didn't have is obviously speed. Speed kills, right? But it's not like Kyler is a bum that can't throw the ball and all he can do is run. Kyler's got a cannon, and he is very accurate and very smart, and he's a winner. So Kyler has the potential to take Arizona so far for so many years, and he has a wonderful setup team right now. He still has the benefit of Larry Fitzgerald for this year and probably another one. And now he got a guy in DeAndre Hopkins that's going to change him forever. Arizona has always been a team that, it reminds you of guys who get these veteran quarterbacks and they'll play for a couple of good years, right? You've seen that over a course of time. Now we finally have this rookie quarterback who can do more than just throw the ball. We have somebody, if we get blitzed, he can get out of it. Here's the thing. Kurt Warner and Carson Palmer actually had some good teams. Kyler hasn't had that yet. So just imagine Kyler Murray with a great team. Imagine Kyler Murray if he had Bolden and Larry in their prime. He kind of is going to have that right now when it comes to DeAndre Hopkins still having some Larry Fitzgerald in there. And Kirk is going to step up very well. So imagine having Kyler Murray. Imagine Kurt Warner, honestly, running so fast because... That is what you're going to get from Kyler, right? Kurt made the throws. He was smart and everything, but that man couldn't move. So now you have Kyler Murray who can make the throws, smart, run for first downs, get away from blitzes, no has to throw the ball away, won't take stupid sacks because I know he's going to improve off of last year. And this is all if the O-line could be just a little bit better. If they're a little bit better, we're going to do well. If they can block even more above average, forget it. Arizona will be so scary at one point that everyone's going to not want to play this team because their defense is going to get better and Kyler can bail them out. Even Russell Wilson didn't have what Kyler Murray is about to have. DeAndre Hopkins is so damn good that everything is going to change because of that. So Kyler Murray, if you compare these three quarterbacks, you got Carson, Kurt, and Kyler. I mean, Kyler has all the potential to blow them both out the frame. Yes, Warner was great. Yes, he did his thing. Yes, everybody loves him. But, you know, the reason they love him in Arizona is because of what happened. You know, we had that Super Bowl run, made it to the playoffs after that, and everybody loved that for that, right? And I get that. But if you watch Carson Palmer after that, I, honestly, even when we were doing well, I just didn't expect us to win because I felt like any time 
a team is going to come in with defense, we were screwed. I don't feel that way now. The reason I made my video last year before we drafted Kyler Murray and we had Rosen, I was the one who was saying, no, we do not need another one of these situations. Yeah, now Rosen could move a little bit. Rosen can get the first down, but we didn't need another guy, especially with no bet, with no offensive line. We needed somebody that can move. This is, the, this is the league now, guys. Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, this is the league. You need running quarterbacks. And I don't mean just running. You need guys who can move. Prescott can move. There's the players that can do. Don't fool with Aaron. Aaron can run when he needed to get the first down in his prime. He still can do it. And if, if you don't have a guy whose speed is going to kill you, at least have somebody who can kind of get out of these blitzes. Or if the offensive line is bad, at least get away from it a little bit. We did not have that. We honestly didn't. Palmer wasn't that guy. Warner wasn't that guy. Let's call it what it is. Kyler has all the potential. But what does potential get you? This. Get you shit. Right? Kyler has can have everything and we can look amazing on paper and it can mean nothing if we don't perform. But the expectations is Kyler is going to blow them out the frame. And if I had to say, I say he will be a Hall of Fame quarterback and he will be better than any quarterback we had in the past. And I'm not trying to hate on Jake Plummer at all, by the way. I'm just talking about recently. Kyler Murray, if he puts it all together, has the potential. And everybody laughed at me when I made a video the other day talking about, is he the next Russell Wilson or can he be better? People just don't understand what DeAndre Hopkins is going to do for Kyler Murray. I, I don't know if they get it. Look at Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson is a phenomenal quarterback to me. He has been running for his life since he got in the league. And he had DeAndre Hopkins. This team is better than the Texans in every way possible. If we block for Kyler Murray, the sky is the limit. Period. If that offensive line, which is why people were dying to get an offensive line, and I was just like, you know what? No, still got to help him out in other ways possible. And you know what? It turned out to be, it worked out all perfect to draft. Kyler Murray is set up for Hall of Fame status. The main thing is he has to stay healthy. He has to be careful. He has to be smart like Russell Wilson because Russell Wilson knew when to either slide, when to throw it away. He, Kyler cannot do too much and try to run around and hit, hurt his hamstring. We're done. Right, right then and there, we're done. We don't need that. We don't need somebody to be a hero at this point. We need Kyler to be smart. Run when you have to run. Do what you have to do, but just don't do too much. Your speed alone is going to kill them. You don't need to run. We have the team, so we don't need you to run all the time. Arizona and having the one last thing I'm going to say is Kingsbury, right? Remember when I had Todd Haley and he was brilliant with the offense? Kingsbury is just like, that's why they call him a mad scientist. He has all these amazing plays. And when it comes together, it's just going to be a beautiful time. Kyler will be better than Kurt Warner and Carson Palmer. I know it's hard to compare all these guys and you're just like, no shit, Peter. Speed, obviously, but... That's really what this is. It's just the major difference is speed. These guys were veteran quarterbacks in Carson and in um, Kurt. They were smart. They were in their 30s. Kyler's in his early 20s, way faster, has a really great receiver right now, DeAndre Hopkins, and still has a, a legend in Larry Fitzgerald. Expect Kyler Murray to soar. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.